Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to use overlays to really stylize your scene in Adobe Premiere Pro. So overlays are basically other pieces of footage that you could put on top of your piece of footage to add elements into the footage that wouldn't typically be there. So for example, we have this scene right here. And it looks sort of like, you know, there's a forest fire going on, there's embers going over, there's some smoke, there's a little bit of light coming off in the background. And this is all just created through overlay. So if we remove these three overlays on the top and then I also did a little bit of color correction so I'll remove that color correction to show you what the base footage was and the base footage was actually really simple it was just you know a car driving over add everything back in and suddenly you have what looks like you know a forest fiery scene and you could even you know go farther and farther and really get down to editing this uh, to make it look um, especially with the color a little bit better but you can see the contrast right here and that's what we're gonna be going over today so it's actually a really easy effect to pull off. What you need to do is you need to go to youtube.com or any sort of online um, you know, video repository. And what you wanna look for is just a effect that you want. So for example, if I go onto youtube.com and let me bring this up right over here. So I search for something like smoke effect. Whenever I bring up the smoke effect, you can see that we have a couple of smokes right here. Uh, a good one to put is actually overlay. Anything with overlay in it, and you'll see that we have smoke and dust, smoke screen overlay, after effects smoke overlay. We have a lot of overlays here. And you just wanna grab one of these videos, and there are some websites out there to download YouTube videos. Find one of those websites. Uh, it may or may not be against the terms and service of YouTube, I'm not entirely sure, but you know, at your own risk, find a way to get the to download these videos. And once you have these, once you find the ones that you want, you can then put them into Premiere. What I have here is I have a smoke effect, and then I have I searched for Ember overlay, and I believe I used uh, this one right here. And then I also searched for um, just a red overlay, and it actually came up with this really neat sort of red overlay right here. Red sparks might also be pretty cool, even red shock waves right here. Once you have your that footage, download it and bring it into Premiere Pro. So let me go ahead and delete these off the top. So now all we have is the color correction. What I did over here was I clicked on the footage, went into Lumetri, and then just really just uh, color graded it. Not even that much. I just cover color graded it just enough so that it looked you know in that orange direction. That was really just the shadow, the tints, and then lowering down the saturation a little bit and upping the contrast, and then bringing the temperature a little bit to the warm side. Once you have all of that then, you want to go over into your left side and find those overlays. And you'll see that we have these overlays and there's only 720p while we were shooting in 1080p, so it's gonna be a little small, but that's okay. We're going to just scale this up a little bit. Um, and then the next thing you wanna do is go into the blending mode and put screen. And it's that easy. Now it is actually added on top of your scene. And you notice that this these aren't tracked. So in After Effects, you can actually track these to the scene so it looks like it's an actual element. In Premiere Pro, you're gonna need a decently stabilized footage. You see once it starts moving down here, if we move it over here, once the footage moves, it looks very unrealistic. So a semi-tripod shot, a little camera shake is fine, um, but you want it to be pretty stable. You see that this is a little bit, you know, a little bit intense. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to lower the opacity down, maybe right about 26% ish. Very subtle is what kind of like sells this effect. So let's go with maybe like 30. Let's maybe bring it up to like 45% right here. And that gets a good sort of smoke vibe going in here, right? Like so. And you also notice that there's a sort of a, maybe a change in the scene where it pops in. You might want to change that around so there isn't that quick uh, smoke pop that comes in right there. We can also color correct the footage here, and that's kind of a good idea, is if we click on this, we can bring this into the warm side as well, and that'll just make it so that it's uh, an oranger smoke, and which fits our scene just a little bit better. Maybe bring this up a little bit, sort of work around there, and now it's looking pretty good. Then we can you know, add in another overlay, right like so. Do the exact same things, scale it up, uh, we'll go up here to scale, bring it up to full size, and then just go down to screen. And what it does, it removes all the black. And you'll see that right here, that this is a little bit intense. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to click on here, I'm going to go into the speed and duration, and just make this run at about 30%. So it's gonna stretch it out really far, and then we can right click on it again, and go into uh, time interpolation, and we can go frame blending to sort of make it stretch out a little bit. And now it's a little bit, you know, a little bit more subtle here. A little slower and that's okay because now when we bring it really far down to about 25 percent 
we start getting this effect of like this, this red uh, coming off in the bottom here. And when we add in our embers, which are right here, the embers and the sparks, do the exact same thing, scale it up, overlay, goes to screen, uh, the blending mode right here. And then uh, we have the embers going right like so. It actually looks like maybe there's a little bit of a fire happening down uh, below. And we can lower this down to make sure that it kind of fits with what we want. But you can see that just by putting these overlays on, you can really stylize a piece of footage and make it look like something completely different. Make it look like an entirely separate scene than what uh, the scene was before. And that's really powerful because there are so many free overlays out there. Uh, it, it'll just add to your footage. It'll add to sort of the story that you're telling, and it'll make it you know a lot of uh, a lot of fun to do as well. But that is it on the tutorial. Really, it's simple. Just find the overlay, drag it in, change it to screen mode, and you're pretty much good to go. Work with that opacity. Work with sort of making it fit into the scene by maybe color correcting it, and you'll have an awesome shot. Thanks, everyone, for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.